Hello guys, Matt here and welcome to my fragrance obsession. I hope you're all doing very, very well tonight. Now, I just want to say a big, big thank you for watching my previous video, which was Lamont by Cody. Now, in this review, I am going to be bringing you a, another rare and discontinued fragrance that comes from the company of Etienne Agenais. Now, this is a rare scent and a new scent in my collection, and I'm so happy to have this. This is just an amazing fragrance. It is for men, and it came out in 1987, and the fragrance is called Free Life. Now, this fragrance is super rare. Now, anybody who is anybody uh, knows that fragrances many, many years ago were, you know, especially in the 80s, were all very masculine. This is one of those fragrances, and to me, this is a gem of a fragrance. I cannot believe that this fragrance is discontinued because to me it is just an amazing scent that I just simply cannot wait to review. So here we go. Now let's talk about the presentation for this little miniature that I have. So here we go. Now here is what the little miniature looks like. We get free life in green writing. I'm sorry that my light isn't really doing justice guys. But we get free life in green writing along the top. We get eau de toilette underneath. We get Etienne Ejner underneath. We get Etienne Ejner Cosmetics Munich. So yeah, that's pretty much all we get. A really retro looking 80s design, I will be honest. Uh, this is, I believe, a 7mm eau de toilette. Um, it's pretty much full to the top. Um, I got it from my friend Dalius in Lithuania. I've received quite a lot of fragrances from him. I think he's an amazing human. And the fact that he has been able to secure, you know, and take care of so many old fragrances after so many years is quite astonishing. So I would like to say a big thank you to you, Dalius, for sending me this fragrance along with another fragrance which I will be reviewing probably tomorrow. Now a little bit more on that guys. Now before I go ahead and talk more about this fragrance, I just want to say I know that I said that I was going to review uh, another fragrance tonight that came out in 1993. Well, I'm afraid you guys will have to stay tuned for that for tomorrow because it's all it's it's getting really late here. And I just thought, you know what, why don't I review Free Life by Etienne Ejner? Because it is a great scent. And I think that the scent that I wanted to review tonight is more of a daytime scent. So I'll review that one tomorrow because we're looking like we're going to get a lot of good weather. So I'll be reviewing that one for you guys tomorrow. So sorry for the confusion, guys. Now let's go ahead and talk about this fragrance. Now the notes for Free Life by Etienne Ejner. We get the top notes of lavender, sage, rosewood, and bergamot. Now let's go ahead. So yeah, we've just gone through the top notes. Um, I would say you get this very, very nice lavender and sage combo. And what I've noticed about the sage in this fragrance is that it's got this very peculiar sort of smoky take on it. The smell of it at this point, like literally as soon as you spray it, actually reminds me of another fragrance. And that fragrance is Zeno Davidoff, of course, by Davidoff, which came out in 1986, a year before this one. Now, I don't know if that is supposed to be like, I don't know if it's supposed to be similar to Zeno Davidoff or not, but the smell is so close to Zeno Davidoff. Like, it's, it's like a boozier, smoky version of Zeno, but there is more there if you know what I mean. The bergamot gives it an, a sort of nice touch of citrus, but overall the opening of this fragrance is quite dark, it's boozy, and it's got that sort of smoky edge to it. Kind of like smoky wood, you know when you've had like a, a log fire burning, and after when you wake up the next morning when you've been camping and you smell the, the smoke still in the air? It's a little bit like that, but it's sweeter with a sort of kind of syrupy edge to it. It's just very, very sweet, but that's the only way I can really describe it. It's a very different scent, I will be honest. Even though it does smell a lot like Etienne, uh, a lot like uh, Davidoff Zeno, it's still a very, very good fragrance. But it gets much better. Now let's go through the middle notes. In the middle, we get rose, muguet, geranium, cedarwood, patchouli, and jasmine. Now, this fragrance, uh, I, I do start to get a lot of the middle notes from literally, like, after that two-hour mark. So after the two-hour mark, it starts to get softer on your skin. And you, you're left with this very nice muguet rose and this very nice, rich geranium smell. 
Um, I would say that the cedar wood also gives it this, this sort of like woody sweetness sort of smell. But you, you pretty much get the cedar wood in the opening. It's what's creating that sweet woody smell. But it's that rose and that mugay combination which really makes this fragrance quite something spectacular. There is a lot of patchouli in this fragrance, as well as a lot of jasmine. The patchouli gives this fragrance that sort of herbal sort of smell to it. Sorry guys, my laptop went off. Yeah, it's kind of like a herbal quality to it. It's like herbal, rugged woods. It's smoky. It's just, it's really, really nice. A beautiful scent. Perfect for sort of winter times, I think, sort of winter and autumn time. Because it just has that sort of burnt wood booziness to it. It's 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 an amazing scent at this point. But yeah, that patchouli starts to get very dominant once you've been wearing this scent for a good amount of time. The patchouli just becomes this very bold, strong sort of smell. Uh, if you love patchouli, then this is a this is literally a great scent to go for. But let's look at my favorite part of this fragrance, which is in the dry down. Now the dry down is literally perfect okay it features four notes and all of these notes are perfect in this fragrance now the base notes we get sandalwood amber vanilla and tonka bean now this fragrance is pretty typical i suppose in the dry down like it smells like a typical woody vanilla powdery dry down but it smells very very rich now i don't know where it's really getting the richness from i mean it could be that cedar wood in, in the mid, it could be a bit of that Mugay and Rose, which is sort of just leveling out and adding to the dry down. I don't know, but the vanilla note in this fragrance is quite linear because you smell a lot of the vanilla anyway in this fragrance. It's what adds the booziness to that sort of, you know, that burnt wood smell that, you know what I mean? But the vanilla in this fragrance is very, very nice. It's sweet. It's not really like a vanilla I've smelled in a lot of fragrances. I mean, it it, it is mixed with a lot of notes in this fragrance to give it that difference. But from what I'm smelling, guys, this really is an amazing fragrance. It's sad that it's discontinued. It's discontinued, I should say. And it's also very sad that it's just becoming very hard to find. Now, I have seen quite a few bigger bottles of this going online. It does go for quite expensive. But if you can get a size bottle, just like me, of this fragrance, I do not think you'll be disappointed. Now, I know this isn't a fragrance that... You will pretty much see, you know, all the main reviewers doing, you know. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to throw in a few guys for you that you guys may have heard of or may not have heard of, which are pretty amazing scents considering they're old. But seriously, guys, I would really recommend that you guys check this one out. It's It really is a beautiful scent. Please do, guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching this episode of My Fragrance Obsession. You guys are absolutely incredible. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought of this review. And let me know um, if you have checked out this fragrance. And let me know what your opinions on it are. Because I would love to know. Because I, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know anybody else that really has this scent. So if you do own it and you do like it or if you don't like it, please do let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Keep smelling good, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.